in line. And they're off. Ipatoon and I on the candy showing early foot and dare divide racing up on the outside. They're followed next by in fourth position. There is a Galatians as they move around that first turn run. Settling in as tis speedy down to the rail as they round that turn. As leaders opening up at a good pace now. As the three lengths back in the field, Swigo Star is next as they round that turn. Outside is Durkin's call, improving a spot or two from the back of the pack. And trailing the field is give it a go down the back stretch. They go now, and it's eye on the candy just in front from Impetu. They're flying right along. Galatians got to love that. Is third and eight lengths off those leaders. Dare Divide is racing in fourth, and Tis Speedy is in fifth. Durkin's call outside the two path, and back to give it a go. And Suuga Star is trailing on the inside. About 17 lengths from first to last. As they head for the turn now, Iona Candy survived that duel with Impetude is back second. As Galatians attempting to pick it up under a bit of a ride in third position. Now with three and a half furlongs left to run. Dare Devite is in fourth. Durkin's call is next and Tiz Speedy. The others have some work to do. Three A's to go. It's Iona Candy from Impetude. The lead is five lengths. Galatians. Dare Devite is in fourth and Tiz Speedy is fifth. Taken out to the three path. Now with two and a half left, and Durkin's call even widest of that. They make the turn for home. I on the candy is the leader. Galatians gets that dream trip down to the inside. Impetude continues to battle. On the outside is Dare Devite, who's picking up late, along with Tiz Speedy. Dare Devite, Tiz Speedy. Galatians, they're all coming now. And I on the candy. I on the candy trying to hold on to the lead. Galatians outside is Tiz Speedy. Galatians, Tiz Speedy. I on the candy. Three across the track, and Dare Devite is in fourth foot finish. Galatians of the photo with Tiz Speedy and I own the candy and a stiff drive and dare to bite. Twenty two to race two. Third race, no changes. Fourth race, scratch seven, pit stop man, 10, Shanghai Warrior. Fifth race, scratch 10, freestanding. Ian, bred in Kentucky by Charles Fipke. Minute 53, running time, mile and an eighth for Galatians. That's. Second race, scratch one, a Levin. For Cassius, one over. Scratch 11, Ghostly Prince. 22 to race two. Third race, no changes. Fourth race, scratch seven, Pit Stop Man, 10, Shanghai Warrior. Fifth race, scratch 10, Freestanding. 22 to race two. And they're off. Kickstartness gets the first call out of the starting eight. Cash is hustled up there. Langley Avenue racing in third position. What a hard man. Fidel saves ground around that turn. Omar coming just in behind that second flight of runners as they round the first turn. After that is Chaplanc the Gray racing on the outside as they move round the turn. Now past the seven ace pole. El Delary is about three deep on the inside as I got him as a Puedes in formal affair. Back of the pack and trailing the field is run for your life. Down the back stretch, they roll with five furlongs left. Kickstartness making the pace, pressed by Cassius. Cassius is a half length off a of kickstartness. Kickstartness, Cassius putting some pressure on now with about five furlongs left to run. It's three back, and Langley Avenue just in third. Omar coming with a smooth trip on the inside from fourth. El Delary tries to advance on the outside from fifth. Chap Blanc run for your life. I got a miss, Ipuedes. What a hard man. Fidel has dropped to the back of the pack, has dropped to last and passed by. Formal affair on the outside, three deep around the turn. 
Three furlongs left to go. Kickstartness leads the way. Cash has been there every step of the way, trying to press on by. Omar coming his third and gaining a bit of ground now as he move toward the quarter pole. Al Delari is pressured in fourth. And run for your life is fifth on the far outside, racing about the five path. They make the turn for home. Kickstartness is the leader. Omar coming in between horses are inside. Omar coming is going to elect to stay down to the inside. Steered at the rail now. Kickstartness just off the rail. Omar coming is coming up the rail. Here's Omar coming through tight quarters on the inside. Kickstartness. Omar coming comes through. Omar coming and Angel Cruz up the inside to win from Kickstartness. Run for your life. Got third in Cassius. Minute 45.12. Omar Carmen's owned by designated hitters Racing LLC, trained by Rudy Salomon. Three-year-old Doc Bear Brown Gelding by Golden Land, out of great start by Jumpstart. Brennan Maryland by designated hitters Racing. Two dollar exact at twenty dollars, ninety-nine thirty dollar trifecta. One dollar superfecta, one thousand hundred sixty dollars. Six seven two dollar double thirty five dollars. No changes. Third race exact at try super double pick three. Fourth race scratch seven pit stop man scratch ten Shanghai warrior. Fifth race scratch the ten free standing. Twenty three to race three pick three. In the gate. And they're off. Alani with a sharp start, something wonderful flashing up with early foot, and Phantasmical on the chase there from third to between horses. Not a bothers up close and forth, just two from the front. Back to Sound Bite and Song Time, and Leicester is last of them all. It's something wonderful with that speed at the rail. Ahead in front from Alani pressing the issue as they head for the far turn run and a half mile left to go. Not a bother, ground saving right off that pair. On the outside is Phantasmical, who's next, and Sound Bite's now within five lengths of the pace as they round the turn. Leicester second to last position and song time at the tail of the field. Midpoint on the turn. Alani's trying to press on by something wonderful. He's ridden along for a little more. Not a bother's at the rail. In the meantime, Fantasmical with a clean sweep on the outside. Sound bite now just off heels. Is looking for a bit of racing room. Going to tip to the far outside and in the clear now is Sound bite who's moving along into fourth. And now a final for along the run. It's Alani. Alani from not a bother by three. And it's Soundbite on the outside coming on now to try to grab that second spot. But Alani's too good for them. It is Alani and Frankie Pennington to win by four or so lengths from a Soundbite. And then not a bother, Fantasmical finished fourth. All official winner Alani, Frankie Pennington for Car Guys Racing LLC, John C. Service Trainer Alani. Third official. Two dollar exact at eight twenty. Dollar super effect up pays forty one forty seven five two dollar double twelve dollars. Pick three eight dollars forty five cents. Dollar trifecta pays twenty-one dollars ten cents for the try. Fourth race, start of the rainbow pick six, seven thousand seven eighty carryover. The Brent Presley Memorial Race. Scratch seven pit stop man, ten Shanghai Warrior. Exacta trifecta, superfecta, double pick three, pick four, start of that rainbow pick six. Fifth race, scratch ten freestanding. Sixth race, number one, bless candy, one over. Seventh. Start of the pick six in line. And they're off. So start for pressing concern is at the back of the pack. 
Red Paisley out first, and Dark Timbers firing up that early speed, too. And between horses, Inky Guy's in the mix, and Icing on the outside, these four two lengths apart. Golden Arm travels rail from fifth position. Johnny French, Friatti's Laddie TNT, and pressing concern. Into the turn they roll, and it's Red Paisley. Icing on the outside. Red Paisley's at the rail. A neck in front from the pressing icing from the outside. Two back. Dark Timber scrubbed on for more run, but drops three lengths off the pace. Icky Guy on the outside in fourth. Johnny French Fry, and next is pressing concern. Third to last position. Addy's Laddie's TNT spun out very wide. Golden Arm saving ground into the stretch. They make the turn for home now and it's Red Paisley from Icing driving on the outside. Dark Timber. Center track is Icky Guy for a long left to go. Red Paisley digging down, holding off Icing for the moment. Dark Timber is in third. Red Paisley. Icing keeps on trying. Red Paisley rolling home under Jebby on Toledo to win. Red Paisley length and a half. Icing the second. Dark Timber. Icky Guy fourth. Steel Jebby on Toledo, the winning jockey. Minute 4.47 running time. Official $2 exact of 1760, 2410 dollar try. One dollar super factor, 150 90, two dollar double five at eight, five twenty. Pick three for 50. Fifth race, one mile, second wire finish, exacta, trifecta, superfecta, double pick three. 50 cent pick five, 12% takeout, late pick five, scratch 10, freestanding. Twenty three to the fifth, pick five. Jockey Jebby and Toledo in the winter circle now. Where they've marched. And they're off. March got a good break. So to Budge Boy Palace and Morning Thoughts is in the mix too. And on the inside there is B West. B West uh, on the inside from the shoot now. Uh, challenged by Morning Thoughts early. And Morning Thoughts will be aggressive and take the lead. Morning Thoughts from B West in second. Pudge Boy Palace running Rivers of Grey racing fourth while saving ground. Making progress between horses, he's on fire. He's moved along now to the fifth spot, about three deep down the backstretch run. March will settle in between runners. Back to Prince Cozan, and back to Master of None, racing to the tail of the field with home school and fun, loving, criminal. Heading into the far turn run with four and a half furlongs left to go. Morning Thoughts in charge by two from Pudge Boy Palace and B West on the inside in third. He's on fire, running rivers of the inside there, and Master of Nuns wound up in three path around the turn. March is in between horses. Fun 11 criminal. Now trying to advance. Fun 11 criminal. Just in behind that group. Fun 11 criminal. Now going to have to switch to the outside, coming wide as they make the turn for home. Fun 11 criminal is going to be widest of them all as they spin in. Quarter of a mile left to go. Morning Thoughts that leader. Morning Thoughts, he's on fire, gets the first run. Master of None, Fun Love and Criminal, center of the track, and running river battles along now to the inside. For a long left to go, Master of None. Master of None is 60 to 1. Master of None, long shot at the 16th pole, pulling away from them. Master of None bombs away. Master of None. And then be closer for second at the second wire. Looks like Morning Thoughts in there. Can't tell from here. Hot super high five. 21 minutes to race six. One eight two for six unofficial. Uniquely chic by Union Rags, bred in Maryland by Bowman and Higgins Stable.
$2 exacto, $664, dollar trifecta, $731.20. Dolly Superfecta, $3,887.60, dollars double, $160.40. Pick three eighty seven ninety. Pick four three fifty one thirty. Pick five one thousand three hundred forty three dollars twenty five cents. Six race number one. Bless candy one over. Exacta trifecta superfecta double. Pick three. Pick four. Jackpot super high five. Twenty one minutes to race six. Settling down, squared away. And they're off. Looks like Safe Trust bobbled at the start. Nick's notion is last away. Bless Candy, good early speed, and right there, too, is It's a Sure Thing. It's a Sure Thing on the outside of Bless Candy, who's at the rail. Atlantis Queen's up close, racing in third position as they move down the back stretch. Malibu Hooch on the outside. Onyx Tencent right up into the race there, just a couple of lengths from the front on the chase and at the rail. And so they're two lengths back, and Save Trust is followed by My Dear Antonia on the inside. Say You Love Me racing third to last position. Back there to Christy, my love, and Nick's notion trails the field into the far turn run. Three-way scramble up top there. Atlantis Queen pushing up on the outside to a narrow lead as Malibu Hooch follows that move now. And Onyx 10's got run just in behind them. Going to tip to the outside and in between horses. Safe Trust running a big one on the far, far outside. Top of the stretch and it's wide open at the 360s. And Malibu Hooch just kicked. Malibu Hooch in front now. Length and a half, almost two. Up the rail now comes Onyx 10. Center of the track is Safe Trust continuing to run huge. Safe Trust Trust on the outside, chasing home Malibu Hooch. Malibu Hooch in front. Malibu Hooch. Onyx 10 or Safe Trust. Malibu Hooch wins. From Onyx 10, run a big one. And Safe Trust, followed by Atlantis Queen. Three six six for longs. Seventeen sixty twenty one seventy dollar try. Dollar super effect is seventy three ninety. Dollar super high five one hundred eighty seven forty six to ten five eight. Jackpot high five carry over two thousand one hundred five dollars eighty six cents one six two dollar double two hundred ninety two ninety fifty cent pick three one hundred forty eight dollars forty five cents seventh race scratch the seven eight and nine Twain Max and Fifo and they're smart Stewart Hammerer race. The seventh, that's six for longs. Exacta trifecta, superfecta, double pick three. And they're off, stumbling at the star, daring venture. Bad stumble is last. Bernie the Star out of the gate first. Yara's Quest has some early speed and change my world up on the inside with early lick two. That's tap up close and on the chase there from fourth. Two and a half lengths back on the level. Daring Ventures recovered. Now moving through between horses. Six or seven lengths on the pace. Smuggler's Gold is dropped to the back of the pack and Wicked Boss is trailing the field. About 10 to 11 lengths will cover the entire bunch into the turn they roll. And Bernie the Star on the outside. Yara's Quest out of the inside. Bernie the Star 
ahead in front. A Yaris Quest is ridden along for a little more. Change My World is next, and it's Smuggler's Gold Racing three deep. Daring Venture is recovered quite nicely, racing in fifth within three of the lead. On the levels, got some run to just in behind that group, and a seek a way through, threading through between horses on the level, taken out between horses, still there in some traffic. It's a little trouble there for On the Level. Now running to daylight on the level, on the level, look at On the Level, trying to get through On the Level, running a huge race. It is Yara's Quest on the level, Yara's Quest on the level, trying once more. Yara's Quest just out kicking on the level, Yara's Quest to do it from On the Level. And then it was changed by World and Smuggler's Gold. Stables LLC, minute 11.43 in the seventh six furlongs. Two dollar exact to 59.60, dollar traffic to 229.30. Dollar super effect at 1,000, 188.70, six two double, 17.80. Pick three, two eighty eight fifty, pick four, seven hundred thirty seven dollars eighty five cents. Eighth race, scratch eight, call another play. One mile, second wire, ninth race, no changes. Following the ninth race, three races from a uh, Uruguay from Moranos. Races ten, eleven, and twelve. And they're off. Solid beginning. I can do it over the early lead. Lovely charm as early zip up on the inside. Isabella's glory is kept close to and feeling so lucky down the inside. Down the back stretch they roll down the opening furlong. And lovely charm is that leader. Tries to get away just a bit length and a quarter from Isabella's glory. I can do it third. Diamond Sue between horses fourth. Daily Planet feeling so lucky. Taking back a bit about five lengths off that solo leader. And Buck and Lucky racing second to last position and cover the spread. His last on the inside. Inside, cover the spread is about eight lengths off that pacemaker. Heading over the far turn, lovely charm, a length and three quarters in front. As Diamond Sue and Isabella's Glory are head to head for second. I can do it, pressured along there from fourth position. Daily Planet on the outside, Daily Planet moving along into fourth while four deep. Feeling so lucky down at the inside, going comfortably enough with three furlongs left to go. He is feeling so lucky, getting a dream trip down at the inside as they make the turn for home. As lovely charm. Charm, that leader who takes them in. A tipping to the outside is feeling so lucky. Has come off that rail. Diamond Sue battles along down to the inside. Isabella's glories out to the center of the track. But in the meantime, Lovely Charm is full of run today. It is Lovely Charm in front by five and pouring it on now. Six in front from Isabella's glory. Feeling so lucky. Punching along there to try to keep that place spot on the inside is Diamond Sue a 16th left to go. Lovely Charm. It was never in doubt, really. Lovely Charm double digit score from second feeling so lucky in the photo there with a diamond suit In the winner's circle, lovely charm, George Vargas, Jr. Owned by MCA Racing Stable, LLC, Claudio Gonzalez, trainer, minute 37.03. Three-year-old chestnut, owned by Sycamore Hall, Thoroughbreds, LLC. $2 exact at $20, $98.80, try. $1 super effect at $238, double forty two sixty.
pick three, 22.90. Ninth race, no changes. 22 minutes to the ninth exacta trifecta, superfecta, wagering. And they're off. Locked in. Very slow to go. Northern Cardinal, Mr. Pesci, this first time starter, has good gate speed. It opens up a quick two length advantage. Pine Alley now vying for second there with Northern Cardinal between horses and the gray box of rockets on the outside racing in fourth. Back to Bayesian Boy, who's in fifth. Stormy Hollow is in sixth in mid flight. A, B, C, followed by 100 proof and band tour racing third to last. Locked in. Tailing off the last position is it five. Round the far turn, Mr. Pesci is pouring on that speed. Opens up now. Now, Mr. Pesci, box of rockets now clearly taking the second spot from Northern Cardinals, battling along there too. Another five lengths back in the field. Outside is Bayesian Boy. The inside is Pine Alley trying to reach two under a ride. Some nine or ten to make up. And next is Stormy Hollow ABC on the outside end of the stretch now. Mr. Pesci. Mr. Pesci popped the latches on top. Looking to go nonstop. Looking good too. By seven with a furlong left to go. Box of rockets in second. It's wide open. Open for the scramble there. ABC on the far outside. In between horses, Pine Alley trying to grab second. But Mr. Pesci's gone. Long gone. Mr. Pesci to win. Double digits at the end from ABC. Yeah. And then it was Pine Alley, box of rockets, beige and boy. Mr. Pesci with official two dollar exacta fifty eight dollars one dollar trifecta one hundred thirty six ten one dollar superfecta four hundred forty four fifty one two nine ten. 3 1 double pays 31 60, $2 double. Pick 3 60, 3 30, pick $438.75, pick 5, $21,083.35. Pick 6 6 6, six $839.18. Carry over $8,898.83 to tomorrow's program. First race post 12 25. Next up, through the Laurel Signal, you can wager on racing from Aronis. Three races, 10, 11, and 12, coming up next.